father expected in court after his three year old son was killed by a gunshot wound. It happened Friday in Steel Creek. Richard Truitt now facing an involuntary manslaughter charge after his son Jackson died. Truitt was also charged for failing to keep a firearm away from a minor. WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us now as officials look to cut down on the number of kids killed by guns. Yeah, good afternoon. As lawmakers continue to grapple with ways to try to reduce these numbers, there's one thing that remains true. Too many kids are getting their hands on weapons with tragic results. This morning, Richard Allen Truitt in court for a first appearance as the 37-year-old now faces charges of involuntary manslaughter and failure to secure a firearm from a minor. This for the death of his son, three-year-old Jackson Truitt. It happened Friday on O'Hara Drive in Tarragate Drive when CMPD says it got an assault for a deadly weapons call. The child rushed to the hospital, but Jackson died of his wounds. There has been multiple cases that has been called with the police about the gun stuff and it wasn't taken away. This incident comes amid the backdrop of a recent report by the North Carolina Child Fatality Task Force that shows that children in the Tar Hill state are 51% more likely to die by gun violence than the national average. These numbers are in the highest point since 2016. And gun advocates say it's important to know that there are already a number of laws in place that if followed by gun owners, would keep these numbers down, keeping our kids safe, of course. We're right here in Charlotte. Richard Devane for WC.